Hi guys! <laughs> Bit excited today. So, today I'm on the way to Guzhen. Guzhen is a province in South China, in Guangdong, and it's famous for LED lighting. Um, I'm gonna go see one of the main uh, guys in Guzhen. He started a international um, club or trade uh, place in Guzhen. He's in charge of everything. I'm also going to see my friend who is a B2B um, platform operator. So more about that later. Now I need to find somewhere to fill up. Uh, okay, I'll just go here. So better stop filming while I'm here. Okay, all filled up, ready to go. Uh, first, I need to join the expressway because from my house to Guzhen, it's about 25, 30 minutes, not so bad. Um, we have to go on the expressway and all expressways in China, pretty much all expressways, I, I'm not a professor at it, but you have to pay and it's it's not expensive compared to the west but uh still need to pay um, one of the problems with paying is because now in china everything we use wechat 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 everything um so you kind of forget to take money with you uh until you come to the expressway where they don't take WeChat. So suddenly you're rummaging around in your car. Oh, have I got some money to pay for? It's happened to me one time. I was coming back from a place called Zanjiang, which is four hours drive. Um, by the time I got off the expressway, policeman, cutting me up, I might add. By the t completely cutting me up. <laughs> By the time I got off the expressway, it was about 12 o'clock at night. And of course, I didn't have any money with me. And I had to call my friend to come to the, the place to give them money. So it was a bit complicated, but we figured it out. Um, so money, money, money cashless system in China is, it is spread everywhere. I mean, now you can even have a beggar on the street and instead of begging for small coins, uh, he just comes with a QR code, scan the QR code. They're very nice. I always say thank you to them. Why not? If I can make someone's day happy by a smile, then that's good, right? Okay, I'm just going on the expressway. Uh, it's a bit of a boring trip, so I'll cut it here and I'll catch you guys later. Okay, just getting off the expressway. Um, actually, driving in China is not as bad as people make out. Um, it, they do have their own rules and regulations. Um, they have plenty of laws, but one of the differences is you never see any police actually on the road. So I know from my time in America and the UK and even Africa, uh, if you were caught, I don't know, uh, drinking or doing something with you on the phone, within a very short time a policeman woo, pull you over but here in China the only police I really see is hold on I need to pay
Oh, see, see. Well, I stand corrected. They now have Weishin payments on the expressway. That's got to be good, right? Uh, I, like I said before, I, I got caught out one time from no money. Uh, fortunately, this time I had some money, so it was all okay. Um, but um, yeah, they have WeChat payments. That means the WeChat payment, if for uh, people you don't know, is uh, it's a program everybody uses in China called WeChat. In fact, my GoGo Now e-commerce platform is based on the WeChat app because WeChat is just everybody is using it. It's a bit like Facebook and Instagram and WhatsApp and 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 all put together. Fantastic app. App. So if you click here, you can learn more about um, Go Go Now and WeChat because I'm posting regular about uh, Go Go Now and the new products coming into China and etc. etc. I better pay attention to where I'm going. Anyway, back to what I was saying WeChat allows you to put your credit card into it and just simply by scanning a QR code or you show a QR code on your phone and put it into the, the payment uh, thing and it goes beep and automatically deducts from your credit card or from your bank account or from uh, the amount of money that you have in your WeChat wallet. So very, very good uh, technology here in China. It's pretty much, we're pretty much gone cashless now. I mean, that was one of the last things that uh, wasn't cashless, which was the expressway, but um, pretty much everything else. So, okay, we're heading to Guzhen. As I said, I'm heading towards a city called Guzhen. It's actually not a city, it's a town within Zhongshan, which is where I live. Um, but it's a big town, okay? So it's called Guzhen, and what Guzhen is famous for is LED lights, or anything to do with LED, um, from street lights to light bulbs to big chandeliers. Absolutely fantastic. And as far as my experience with China is, what they usually do, if they have a produce that they uh, manufacture, for example, LED lights, what happens, the factories kind of stick all together. In fact, a lot of this, uh, this is another cultural thing. If you've got a successful pizza shop, it's, they're quite happy to open another successful pizza shop right next door. <laughs> And uh, it's just one of the things, instead of going to the next town and opening the same concept, but uh, that's, that's a cultural thing which I'm not going to get into in this uh, video. So, I want to talk about Guzhen, but first, I'll go to Guzhen and do some photos and some videos and talk more when I'm on the way back, because I need my iPhone to figure out how to get there! <laughs> Catch you later. So I got to Guzhen and my friend, I'm just waiting for my friend, um, Jennifer. And for some unknown reason, I, she's asked me to meet her at the government building. So I'll just wait a minute and uh, see what happens. Here I am in Guzhen. This is the heart of the lighting industry. A fantastic place. If you look, all these shops, all these shops are for just lighting. And this is one of the biggest uh, lighting centers in Guzhen. There's actually a few around, 
but uh, I won't go to all of them today because they're the same, it's just a lot. Um, and unfortunately, it's five o'clock, so I'm gonna get stuck in a bit of traffic. And I think I'll go around and take a few photos of the different shops that so everybody can see. As you can see, I'm in the middle of the mall. And this mall, this huge mall, whoa! And like I said, all it does is lighting, lighting, lighting. So I'll go for a walk around. This one's beautiful. Not sure where I'd put that in my house, but uh, if you want it, it's right here. Um, yeah, all these shops are nothing but lighting industry in the LED lights or conventional lights. Just lights, lights, lights. Uh, it's a beautiful shopping mall. It's a little bit empty at this time, but uh, as you can see over here, some, some lights. Showrooms, showrooms, showrooms. Oh, where was I going? I was going to the coffee place. Okay. So this is a different part of Guzen. This is, look, you can see factory shops um, all around here. I'll just give you a quick show. There's one of the streets, um, but they go on and on and on and on. Take your drive around. So many beautiful lights. Just see if you can see. I'm gonna drive, I'm sorry. But all these shops here are all factory shops. Factory shops, factory shops. And there's all sorts of different lighting equipment. Everything to do with lighting. LED transformers, um, all the things you need, like you can see. Be careful because uh, there's a bit of no man's land around here. Boxes and boxes and boxes of lighting being shipped out of this area. You can see just over here, this is Li He Lighting Expo Center. So it's a big exhibition center that they have all the lighting shows on. Uh, a few times a year, I'll give details later about uh, the lighting exhibitions. But what I wanted to say was, I've just come out of a meeting with two people um, first person my friend Jennifer um, she's got a b2b platform and she assists people in looking for new lighting I've also got the book here of, uh, the lighting expo book and everything so with all the different products in very interesting Jennifer has a B2B platform which allows for people to find suppliers, trusted suppliers here in China. And she also offers a lot of services, um, like shipping services, legal services, um, everything else. So that's a really good for me. So if anybody is interested in finding lighting suppliers, I'm the guy to contact, okay? Um, the second meeting um, was with my friend Henry and he is an agent, one of the best agents in Guzen. He's uh, well connected with the government, he's well connected with all the suppliers. Um, if there's anything that I need or somebody else needs, um, I just contact him and he finds me the source. So two very strong agents to source for products in good zen so anything to do with lighting um, contact me and i can find out any information you need okay i'm back on the expressway now uh, so i've got time to talk um, 
I just wanted to talk a little bit about LED lighting. LED lighting in the past uh, few years uh, has gotten more and more and more advanced. And now for a very reasonable price, maybe one dollar, you can buy a lifetime bulb that'll last uh, 20, 30 years, which is fantastic. Uh, I'm old enough to remember um, the original light bulb, which after, I don't know, six months, you had to go around and start changing light bulbs. But now with uh, new technology, LED lights has gotten better and better and better. Um, it's about a $70 billion industry. Um, very interesting. And I believe the technology will just continue to advance. Uh, pretty much all the light bulbs now, or all the systems, they uh, connect to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, and you can adjust them with your mobile phone, which is awesome, right? So, um, very interesting uh, industry. And my good friend Henry has been working in this industry for many, many, many years. So, he's just come out of a seminar that he did for the One Belt, One Road China Initiative. Um, when I got there to the government buildings, there was many, many, many people there all listening to my friend Henry. Um, he's been supported by the government to help to sponsor Guzhen as a, a town, as a city, to promote their lighting and LED lighting goods. So, very interesting meeting and very, very good contact. So, like I said, if anybody is interested in this industry and would like more details, just look below. All the contact details and everything are below. Get in touch with me. Um, the best way to get in touch for actual chatting is either by Instagram or by WeChat. Uh, specifically WeChat in China because Instagram is touch and go because we have this Chinese firewall that we have to find a way around now and again. I'm just about to get off the expressway. Yeah! Uh, I believe there's going to be a lot of cars where you need to pay. So, good day in Guzhen. Very pleased. A couple of good contacts. My good friend Henry and my good friend Jennifer. I've known Jennifer for many, many, many years. And I've known Henry for few years now um, very very smart intelligent people very happy to be friends and partners with them uh, lots of traffic here uh, to ETC what's that one I don't know I'll just follow this one so I've got a few cars in front of me so I'll speed it up and I'll come back in one second okay let's go and pay uh, well, that was okay because I just paid the cash, <laughs> but she was very nice. So back home now, which is pretty awesome because it's uh, 6.30 and it's time to have some food. So maybe I'll go to see my friend Gordon in Jam Cafe. So I'm Paul Jolly. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel because I'm awesome. Why not? Take it easy, guys. For some unknown reason, she's having me meet me here at this government building, which makes me a little bit nervous, but 
I'll just wait a little bit and see what's going on.